My name is Steve Gigi. I am uh, here at Harvard Medical School. I'm a professor of cell biology. About 20 years ago, I performed a sample multiplexing experiment, one of the first ones actually, where we were interested in yeast and how they could possibly grow on, on a different carbon source called ethanol. And you make every biological molecule in the cell based on just the ethanol. So we wanted to compare yeast growing on ethanol with yeast growing on glucose. And to do that, we mixed the two samples together and we encoded the information using stable isotopes into their proteomes. And then we used a mass spectrometer, an ion trap mass spectrometer, to measure the differences in their protein expression. If you fast forward 20 years, we're still kind of doing this. But instead of taking two conditions like yeast growing on ethanol versus yeast growing on glucose, we're now comparing up to 11 conditions. So human cell lines or human tumor samples or, or, or any other source of, uh, of protein, we're comparing 11 different conditions, uh, usually in human cells. And we are also uh, still using stable isotopes to encode these differences, except for now we're using the TMT reagents tandem mass tag reagents, which you know, are, are allow us to do isobaric labeling and to really cut down the complexity of the experiment. The thermoscientific Orbitrap Eclipse Tribrid Mass Spectrometer provides several new opportunities to really increase this methodology, to really improve this methodology. When we put them all together into just looking at them, their overall picture of how they work within the new instrument, we really have noticed that there's better than about a 50% decrease in the time that we take for doing our analyses. So instead of 36 hours to do a typical analysis for 11 different conditions, we can accomplish that now in half that time, in, in 18 hours. And so this really allows us, the instrument, to act as if it's two instruments for us, right? Because we can do it twice as fast. And at the same depth, we still reach between eight and 10,000 proteins that are quantified across all 11 samples. And we start to look forward also to the time when there will be a 16-plex or a 24-plex or, or bigger reagent sets, which this new instrument will be perfectly positioned to take advantage of. So really looking forward to, to the opportunity to use and to apply this new instrument to our biological problems in the lab.